Every Friday, the team at Local Waste also gives us an opportunity to blow off a little steam to get some things off our chest. It's a tradition here on the show that we call Trash Talk! This one from Devin who says, My trash talk, Jespo, it's aimed right at you. I do not care for your Jespo Pisco Sour. I love that. How Canadian his trash talk is that he doesn't care for my beer. He says, My brother-in-law brought over a couple for me to try this past summer. One of them is still in the fridge. He says that my real trash talk is people who think they need to veer into the next lane when they're making a turn. You're not pulling tandem trailers. You're not pulling a flatbed with a track hoe on the deck. Learn how to turn properly. Peace. That from Devin, who's not a bit. No, what did he say? He doesn't care for my Jespo Pisco Sour. More for me, pal. I don't care that you don't care. Wait, what? Pisco Sour coming out again next summer. Tell your friends. How about this one from David? I think we call that a soft announcement that I just did. That's why you got to listen to Trash Talk, baby. David says, hey, hey, folks, hey, when you're at the head of the turning lane, your only job is, this is like a traffic-themed Trash Talk today, your only job is to pay attention to when the turning light comes on and then turn with wild abandon. There's nothing stopping you. You have a flashing arrow. There are like five people behind you waiting to turn, too. See, it is your duty to pay attention to the light get off your phone quit the navel gazing just go that from david not texting from traffic how about this one from shalane who says so last thursday jespo i decided to delay driving my kids to school because the roads were so bad from freezing rain and icy condition so they were pumped extra time at home but i wanted to know how much time they had and i said i wasn't sure i was checking road reports and then i thought it better we go later and then they noticed i had real talk queued up on my laptop so my son says why don't we just go after real talk and she says so i agreed around 10 30 a.m mountain time the roads would be better and she says and then the show ended at 9 38 and the kids were not impressed that they had to leave an hour earlier she She says, no, there may be good reasons why the show's tightening up, but try explaining that to my kids. They were trash talking you all the way to school. That from Shalane. Tell your kids, thanks for tuning in. And this one from Graham, who says to the weasel at the Kinsman Center last Sunday, who wore nothing but a small towel for a loincloth into the public co-ed sauna. What the hell is wrong with you? You know full well it's a co-ed public sauna, pal. Your agenda was clear as day the moment you walked in. You're an exhibitionist and pulling a nudist stunt was your way of getting cheap thrills. I'm guessing you've been pushing the limits with this stunt for a while now. You sat beside a woman and put yourself right beside the door. She didn't have a choice to call you out. And as I sat there considering what to do, I thought back to the men's panel on Real Talk a week ago. Men standing up to men when lines are crossed. That's not cool. So a minute after you left, you know I followed you out and I met you now fully naked in the co-ed public shower. Your embarrassment and your agenda oozed off you. You knew you weren't in the men's change room or your own personal spa, you fucking loser. So you've been reported a clear description right down to your saggy, sorry ass. Last thing, the icing on the cake, you stole my fucking towel. Get a life. That from Graham. Trash Talk's a real email sent to us to talk at ryanjesperson.com. We'd love to hear from you. Coming up on the show next week, what the recent verdicts in the Rittenhouse trial, the murder of Ahmad Arbery, the Unite the Right defendants, those $26 million in damages awarded for Charlottesville, what do they mean for society? What do they mean here in Canada? Plus, a new study that finds older couples' heart rates synchronize. What does it say about love as we age? Have a great weekend. We love you guys. Sincerely, we'll talk to you Monday.